Hello Aquarius, this is your reading. This is your Mercury and Retrograde reading. And it's a time, uh, it's about around March 22nd it starts and into uh, April, goes into April. And um, I wanted to give you a reading that uh, energy is coming towards you and how you react towards them. And uh, it's a time like when things seem a little chaotic. It's when you got to watch communications, uh, relationships, traveling, contracts, all that. So what's, uh, what are the energies coming towards Aquarius? Mercury in retrograde, March 2018. Aquarius. Mercury in retrograde, March 2018. Aquarius. March 2018. Mercury in retrograde. What are the energies coming towards them? If you're doing well. Everybody seems like in my family's Aquarius. They're all pretty good people. Even my dog's an Aquarius. Hermit reverse. You may be getting out more during that time. I'll put this like over here. You got a love situation going on that time. So possibly for something from the past. It's considered an obstacle though. You don't feel like you maybe you have that victory that's coming in with them. But you got another person here. You got some gain. You got some good cards. Be careful though of that Mercury retrograde. It kind of gives you, you know, illusions sometimes. But in the in the past, coming towards Mercury and retrograde is a love situation, a love partner. It could be a relationship or a partner or family. Let's find out. Why is uh the love two of cups in Aquarius is past? Why is the two of cups in Aquarius is past? There it is again. It's in reverse. That's interesting. So in the past, you had someone you love, but it got turned around somehow. Maybe you had an argument. Maybe it broke up. Maybe it's not exactly what you wanted. But it got turned around somehow, but you're, the love is still there. Now, as an obstacle, you're thinking about the past at this time. This is what's going to happen. You're thinking about the past, or someone from the past could come back. Happens during Mercury in retrograde. Be careful. Sometimes it doesn't last. Actually, a lot of times it don't. But if you're going to bring someone back and you've got to establish a relationship, wait till after Mercury in retrograde. I'm serious. But they're coming back. That's the obstacle. Or maybe you want them back. But it's outside energy in coming in. So I'm thinking they're coming back, maybe. Or they may, or they may be thinking about you. Nostalgia. Six of Cups, why are you there as an obstacle? Maybe you want someone to come back, huh? Outside energies. Six of Cups, why are you there? Victory. You don't feel like you have a victory with this person. The victory card is reversed. Now you got the Six of Wands here, and that's a victory card, but it's in reverse. So at that current moment, or that moment uh, throughout Mercury and Retrograde, you're going to feel like you don't have a victory with this person for some reason. This is your energy. I'm going to pick another card because that just popped out. Let's see what's going on. You feel like you don't have a victory for some reason, or maybe a victory is not coming towards you with this person just as yet, which is kind of something that does occur, like I said, during that time. I need another card for the Six of Wands. I need another card for the Six of Wands. King of Pentacles could be that there's someone else involved that's um, not very stable. They're not very secure. They're not very sure of themselves, and they're not very. Uh, they don't have good character. They do have a lot of earthy energy towards them, so it could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. So there may be more than one person involved in this situation. Now, overall energy, uh, as the current environment, energies outside environment, I should say, but they're all outside environments is the Princess of Cups. And that could be a water sign. It could be a Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. And they could be in the mix. They could be someone in the background that you're thinking of. And it could be very well this person from the past. So let's find out. That could be this person, Princess of Cups. Why are you there? Why are you there, Princess of Cups? Oops. 
Trying to pop out. Let's find out. Got three cards popping out. Should I use them? Actually, more. Four. Queen of Cups. She's turned around again. Of this happy home. She wants happiness. She may offer you, or you may offer her, but it, this can be reversed, uh, a passionate new beginning. And the truth, this person may want the truth from you, and you are thinking about it. You are thinking about it. Now, at the end, you got the gain card. That's a good card. I'm not going to lie. Maybe some money's coming your way. I know it's tax season. Some people get money back. Maybe something else is coming in, but it's a gain card. And it's an awesome card. So, why is the gain card there for Aquarius? Why is the gain card there for Aquarius? Hmm. You may be celebrating a little bit too much because you got the three of uh, uh, cups reverse, and three of cups reverses may be celebrating too much or not celebrating with anybody else. Maybe you're keeping that game to yourself, or maybe you're celebrating by yourself. Let's find out more. Why? Well, I need another card for the game card. Why is the game card there? Ah, because something is coming in. Something is definitely coming in. That's the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, when you get that, that is, to me, also a good card, especially upright. It means something coming in that you like. It could sometimes someone moves. And um, they're actually seeing something move forward. Now, I want one more card for the... Um, current environment. I want to find out what's going on with that victory because you gain a victory apparently. You may not feel it at first because that was because that is what's currently going to happen or at that time during Mercury and retrograde but the end result is gain. So you may not feel like at that time you get a victory right away but you do later on. Let's find out what's going on there. Why Why is the uh, six of wands reverse? We need another card. I, I want something besides people. Why is the Six of Wands there? Queen of Swords are just not going to give me. They're just going to. It has a lot to do with people and your own energy because those are air, and then there's also earth there. But the earth, the the earth is turned around. The air is in the upright. So apparently you're feeling like you got your stuff together, and you do because look at that. Look. Can you see it? Can you see it? That's the Knight of uh, 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 Cups. And the Knight of Cups, it, it gives you, like, positivity. Something's offering you something in the, out of overall, overall energy. Something is coming in, and it's going to offer you something pretty cool. Look, I'm even getting the Ten of Pentacles there. You got you got it made. Whatever, you know, you're going to have somewhere you're going to be thinking about the past. Maybe someone's coming back from the past. You feel like you don't have a victory possibly with that person. But in the end result, you got gain. You got something coming in. You may keep to yourself or maybe not, but someone's offering you some love, friendship, or a positive message of kindness. So that is your reading, Aquarius, and I'm glad you got a good one. Bye.